her career's biggest controversies when she tried to join the Pepsi generation. In 1989, Madonna signed a multi-million dollar contract with Pepsi, who agreed to debut her new single, Like a Prayer, on a Pepsi commercial. One day after the commercial premiered, Madonna released a video for the song. It's one of the heaviest videos she's ever done in terms of the subject matter she's playing with. With the burning crosses and the bleeding palms and the black Jesus-like figure, the video itself was enough to to shock a lot of people. I close my eyes. It dealt with a lot of taboos, and it made people afraid. Help me when you call my name. The video was denounced by religious groups as blasphemous. She took on a subject that people, at the very least, think should be respected, even if they don't believe in it. That's where she got herself in trouble, and she got herself in trouble with her sponsors as well. Madonna's corporate marriage to Pepsi is proving as stormy as her real-life marriage to Sean Penn. I knew right away that people were not going to be able to separate the commercial and the song from the video in the song. Christian groups threatened to boycott Pepsi and put pressure on the company to stop running the ads. Pepsi ran the commercial only twice and officially pulled it off the air a month after its debut. Pepsi acted in the best interest of their business and pulled the plug. But the uproar didn't quiet Madonna. And I'd like to thank Pepsi for causing so much controversy. Like a Prayer spent three weeks at number one, and Madonna got to keep close to $5 million from the Pepsi deal.